Dueling Arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Yes. Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. Sorry, guys, if I'm doing this all over again. We ran out of time. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round, you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at the circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this turn. You will have to pass. You can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast the troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment card. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click on the tough card. And now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need to pass for two rounds. But wait! There's another way. Let me show you. I've given you a power pip. See? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. Look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward upon yourself. See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. You see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. God damn it, bitch. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. Yes. Stoop some wrong number. Why? Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Die, bitch. Charms are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. Do you see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. 
Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect, the aura spells. Aura spells affect the target over multiple what rounds could of these combat. Come in for? for example, the fire elf spell will cause 240 points of fire damage spread over three rounds. Get over here. Oh, Let's see how it works. Cast a fire elf at the puppet. Fine. Hopefully this murders him. I don't know. next round. And again. Excellent. You have defeated him and completed your lesson. There's so many in my notebook gold. No, the music's not coming in. Just get a point in this, but that's it. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see you soon. God damn it. Worm's gone. I want you. Ah, oh, come on. Where's my fucking broom at? for baking. Oh, right. You're dead. Wizard, go with the pet, work together, and find out what's happening in that tower. God damn it. What the hell are you trying to do? Kill me? You now have a pet egg in your inventory. Once it hatches, you can equip the pet just as you would a wand and bring it into the tower. You've just received an egg in your backpack. It's not God a pet damn it. But you can mouse over it to see how long the egg will take to hatch. Once it hatches, you can equip it just as you would any other pet. You have just discovered a badge. Badges are achievements that you will earn throughout your adventures. Each one has its own requirements. Some badges will need you to defeat a certain number of foes. And others will require that you complete heroic deeds. Good luck in finding them all. God damn it. Die. No, I lost! I can't believe I... You 
Aggie? Other wizard! Hurry! You have to help! Oh, shit. You shouldn't have come to this town. No, shouldn't have done that. It's gonna interfere when things don't concern you. Like my plan to turn all bats into zombies. That's all. You'll see you will when it comes to bats. Sometimes undead is better. More like it. If you have a pet equipped, it can help you in battle. Surprise, bitches. Why don't I just kill everyone? Judd. What? That's terrible. We have to get into that kennel. But how? Huh? Oh, I'm Penny Dreadful. I'm new here. When I saw this zombie guy stealing the pets, I tried to stop him and I guess I need more practice. God damn you do, Maggie. the baby.
just collected a reagent. Reagents are used as ingredients in crafting recipes. You can find different reagents throughout the spiral, either by harvesting them, defeating monsters, or purchasing them. Reagents go in your reagent bag, which you can access by selecting the crafting tab in your spellbook, or by pressing J on your keyboard. You saved the pets and a young student. Not bad. But our work is just beginning, and I need all the help I can get. Speaking of which, your pet has gained enough experience, XP, from this quest to level up. As pets level up, they can learn new talents. God damn it. With this talent, you can command your pet to attack. Select your pet's power card before you choose your wizard's action for the turn. This talent costs a bit of your pet's happiness each time you use it. You can increase your pet's happiness by feeding it pet snacks. I've got alarming reports from Cyclops Lane and Triton Avenue, and I haven't heard anything out of Firecat Alley. So, where do you want to start? Burning the house down? Oh, Triton Avenue's been overrun by the undead. I don't have any guards left to try and deal with it either. You're not the first student to want the help. Two wizards named Griffin Bane went in a little while ago, and there was another named Grimwater. But none of them have come out, and I've got no word. Can you help me try to find them? Good luck, and above all, be careful. You've just received a pet snack. You can feed pet snacks to your pet after it completes a training game. Oh, fuck it. Right. Get out of here, you bitches. Kitty. You there! Help! How the fuck did you get on my server? I'm lucky you came along. Uh, yeah. Something has broken the flow of storm magic through the street. Those towers should have arcs of lightning between them. This is bad. Of course it is. My sister Susie and I came to see if we could help get things back under control, but we got separated. The haunted minions drove me back. Fine, I'll kill them. Can you create a diversion so I can try to break through? Attack the minions, and I'll meet you by the river. It's a mess working that needs to be done.
Thanks for the help, wizard. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. I'm worried something terrible has happened. On my way here, I saw one of the lightning eels with Susie's wand in its jaws. Maybe she just dropped it, but maybe not. What can we do? I couldn't help but overhear. They're very loud. If you can bring me that wand, I may be able to assist. How'd you get on my server, Duncan? Really? How? Duncan Grimwater, necromancer. I was drawn here by a massive surge of death magic. It must be the reason the undead have overrun the street. I wish Malastare were here. He could stop all this madness instantly. If only he were still alive. Bitch, he is alive. Malastare is alive? Impossible. I don't know what you saw, but you must be mistaken. Someone is trying to deceive you and Professor Ambrose. Malastare was a great man, the greatest necromancer of this age. Ambrose is responsible for what happened to him. If he hadn't... Can we talk about this later? My sister's lost out there. Bitch, shut up. You're right. Wizard, bring me that wand, and I think I can get to the bottom of this. I got a gun. You got a gun? No, I didn't. Can you play it? Was it 101? Yes. Zilla, where are you? Die, bitch. What the fuck did I just get from that thing? between Susie and her wand is one anchor for the ritual, but I need another. I think I know what would work. When I was trying to reach the source of the death magic, I ran afoul of the rotting fodder across the river. They're using storm magic. That doesn't make any sense. Why are they using storm magic instead of death? Who the fuck knows? They were wearing strange amulets that were crackling with storm energy. Bring me those amulets and I can cast my spell. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here.
Okay, I don't know why he's not dead. God's sakes. <laughs> like that shit is gonna save you? Die, bitch. Enchanting these storm amulets also kidnapped Susie. They probably have Susie imprisoned close by. I can use the link between the wand and Susie to find her, and the link between the storm amulets and their maker to produce a vision. Here goes. Nothing. Whoever this is, they have some powerful magic. I think I could break through the interference with a charged lumina crystal. They make lumina crystals at the mill across the river. Go talk to Vlad Raven Eye and get us a crystal. You goddamn right.
you want to do some research, huh? Great. Librarian Harold Argleston needs a Leyden jar. He's been doing a lot of experiments lately. The task at hand is to build one. Go to Lady Oriole and get some copper for the lining. When does your ass get out of work? Good luck from me. the jar with copper. Finished! Okay, now you'll need to talk to Torrance and fill it with rainwater. You should know what to do from there. Oh, you are here to fill the jar with rainwater? Very well. We'll fill it up. That's it, George. You can now give the jar to librarian Harold Arvidsson. Wish him good luck, me. need for my experiments. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. Upon further examination of this Leyden jar, it could use a good charging. Could you take this outside the library and charge it? Fucking terrifying. 
That's perfect. Thanks. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. like the Leyden jar. Oh, that's excellent news. But you ended up doing most of the work. Here is a little reward for you. Look at Yay. Alright, let's get this fucking, uh, I'm gonna get the, uh, back bitch
of my ritual. It'll work this time. I'm sure of it. You better be sure, damn it. It's working! Holy shit. Susie, I can see her. But what was that horrifying thing with her? It's the Harvest Lord. That's the Harvest Lord. We studied him in class. He's a powerful spirit from the underworld who harvests the souls of the innocent. It looked like she's in Galvano's tower. That must be where the Harvest Lord is enchanting the storm amulets. Wizard, please free my sister. Yeah, to tell you to shut up. Imagine the reward he will get! 
forgive me when I present him your family soul. Shut up. Help! Bitch, I'm gonna kick your ass. Let's get this over with. <laughs>